We are 95% done with our beta. All that remains is mainly stability testing and graphical lighting upgrades related to performance. We're not going heavy on the marketing right now because we're not going head to head with the excitement of College Football 25. We know people are excited. There's not much point to market head to head with a $40 billion company. We're very confident in our model and our product, but let's be clear. We are a true indie, meaning no publisher like EA or Maximum. So we have to be 10 times more strategic because we have 50 times less of a budget than Maximum and a thousand times less than EA. But while we've been cooking in the shadows, we've been building up on our firepower with the right partnerships and investors. We will not rush. Indies have one shot. And while many people continue to tell us release now before college football, I can promise you that's not the right play. But again, while this is David vs. Goliath, we are very confident that we have the right slingshot. That is the official update coming from ESG themselves. For those that do not know, this is a game coming from Shaden McCory. The love aspect of what NBA 2K brought with neighborhood park mode. This is going to be catered for football fans. The big thing is that this is catered to a simulation physics football aspect style. So you're going to have the tradition 7 on 7 and 11 on 11 gameplay. But outside of that traditional game mode, you're going to have numerous type of modes within the city. So you got parkour, you got the gym, you can build upon your player. They got archetype builds kind of like the 2K when you make your my player. So this is going to be very interesting and it's kind of like a another version of what Madden tried to done with the showdown for my career and it kind of gives off a you know, NFL street type of deal that we used to have back in the day, but you intertwine NFL street and NBA 2K's park mode. And you got the football genre for this new concept idea. And it's pretty much going to blow people away once this release. Now, this is very interesting how they're going to implement the simulation physics style with motion capture from actual NFL players, which you guys are about to see coming up. Hopefully the grind system is traditional and you have to earn everything based off, you know, going through the gym and things of that sort instead of paying microtransactions like NBA 2K's My Player, where you have to spend VC to boost your player. Hopefully they keep that separate just for cosmetics instead of, you know, pay to dominate. It's going to be interesting on how they do this. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Enjoy the rest of today's info update video. What's going on everybody? Jay Brownlee here. New York's finest. You already know Big Blue. Catching that motion capture for ESG. Watch out. Boy, showing lights out, Mary Man. We're here with ESG getting some motion capture today. Big hits coming. You know how I do. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Fuck! Slay the 
the scene of the people involved. First and foremost, LaShawn McCoy. If you're a football fan, you know a lot about LaShawn McCoy. He is there to create partnerships and also help with the animation side of things. So to me, that's pretty impressive right off the bat because LaShawn McCoy was a very versatile back. David Tyree, who's known for the catch in the Super Bowl against the New England Patriots. David Tyree, Mr. Helmet Catch himself is helping make the game. You know I'm hyped for this. Sean Merriman, lights out Merriman. He's involved in the game. Former linebacker for the San Diego Chargers. And we have Cameron Jordan, you know, was co-founded by two professional gamers. What are they looking to do with this game? That's what impressed me the most. And this game is claiming that it's going to have 11 versus 11 and 7 v 7. And uh, that's impressive by itself. Which I think is super cool. So you're going to get a player that you get to build and customize. I think we've all sat back and looked and seen what 2K has been able to achieve with parks. But ultimately, I think what football gamers want is an immersive, open world that we can go, we can explore. There's more than just loading up a game and playing football. And that is what Elite Sports Gaming is aiming to prove. They they want to generate a platform with this game where you can have influencers, esports, gamers, streamers, professional athletes, all on the same area, going out, picking up, playing games of football. And to me, I really think that that's something that this community has wanted. It's something that we've sorely missed. And it is worlds away from finding you an opponent that we have now. The fact that you're going to have a city-like neighborhood to go around uh, in an open world environment to do different things is super cool. I'm excited to see how they input incorporate their version of 2K's city. And the fact that you're gonna have a social platform to be utilized with this is fantastic as well. Big thing here, simulation football. Physics-based simulation style. ESG Football 23 is a physics-based simulation style football video game that accurately portrays realistic football with all aspects of its gameplay. So even though it's user versus user, we're getting that fundamental aspect that you and I love. That's why when they talk about, hey, we've got professional athletes doing motion capture, we're aiming to create a realistic football game within all aspects. We have physics already in the game. That's what makes it all the more important. But the big one. And again, this is becoming a trend. We're seeing more and more free to play. It's free to play. I'm assuming they're gonna make their money off of cosmetic gear items, things like that, which is perfectly fine. I have no problem with buying any kind of things in this game if it's going to be a very competitive type mode. And maybe I'll even put $60 in just for the extra stuff because I'm already getting for free. If you're not paying 60 bucks for a game, and you want to pay for a little bit there that's fine which sucks about 2k is you play my career my park and you drop sixty hundred dollars for the game then you still got to pay money for vc and things like that a lot of people also wonder what is this going to be on right now xbox playstation pc the graphics look solid right i'm very surprised i think the graphics are very well done they all have the same desires and that's to make the best football game they can for us does that mean it's automatically going to rival what madden is to every single gamer absolutely not but what this allows us to have as a community is number one more options number two more examples and number three a better fundamental concept of what we want in a game so i'm excited the fact that it's like user versus user but it's simulation style and physics based I think is fantastic you can see some footage of people hanging around in their city um, obviously there's a stadium where you can go and match up with people to go play in the stadium but they also have different parks so I'm, the way I think it's gonna be is when it's 11 on 11 you're playing in a stadium but when it's 7 versus 7 you're playing in parks like this now I could be wrong that's just how I'm interpreting it for now what I am sold on is how much fun it would be to go out and experience an open environment interact with other gamers and and have a football game on the side of it. Because we've seen, as I said with 2K, what parks have done for them. We've totally missed out on that opportunity with football gaming. And right now, there's no game that I'm aware of that is looking to build a game from that base because to be honest, that's what you have to do here. You have to build from that base and work up and work out. Scale your world first, get your gamers involved first, then have them playing your game. And apparently that's what they're looking to do with this title. Again, just the names involved have me excited. We're seeing an 
influx of athletes that want to become involved because just about every athlete I've ever known has also been a gamer. And I think those gamers know what us gamers want and they want to provide us something that's fun, something that's rewarding, something that's engaging, something that's meaningful to play. And I think so much of that starts with sitting down and having a game that's more than just loading up and playing a game of football and then that's it. It shouldn't start and finish with a football game. There should be more to it. Football in and of itself is so much more than just the game. But as I said, we've missed out on so much of that because we don't have games like this trying to come in and push the envelope and make a different product. And hopefully that's what this game can accommodate. We're going to see where this game goes. I, I can't lie. I'm excited for it. The joint look legit, man. It's not like the maximum football joint we've seen. So I think this elite sports joint going to be able to compete with Madden. Overall, though, this game looks the best out of all the upcoming games. This game easily looks the best. And it's free. I gotta try it. Are you gonna download it and give it a shot either way? I know if they can put out something that looks half as good as what they've shown, I will gladly play and support this game. I would hope that you will too.